What's up? Can you guys hear me? All right. What's up, guys? We're going to give it a minute to let people get on here. And I'll tell you guys about these, this new gunner. And then we're going to watch a movie. Mm. What's up, Ron? Oh, big gun in the house. Movie star. Voice actor. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up, Sarah? What's up, Mr. Ron? Ashton better be on uh, over there. Yeah? No? Yes? What's up, Ashton? For you guys don't know, so we'll, we'll talk about it. That's Ashton, who stars in the film we're going to watch, and his pops, who did the voiceover. Super cool peeps. Some of our favorite of all time. Mm -mm -mm. All right, get some more viewers here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get my props ready. What's up, LZ? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start because we're going to record this anyway. And uh, thank you, nice buffalo. Thank you. Um, we're going to start because we're recording this and I'm going to leave a little record of uh, a little overview of the gunner and all that stuff. So, all right, so I'm going to start with um i'm ben sometimes i've been on here i don't even know if you guys know who i am i know ron does i mean who's the random old guy right um i'm the founder of the company and i design all the products and that's basically what i do all day every day and i have a huge amount of help and awesome people around me and that's it all right so we're going to talk about the gunner tonight um, and I'm going to go over, uh, if you've been a fan before we've actually had, so this is an old gunner, right? So this is a, my son's minus eight, uh, 30 inch that he's outgrown, um, actually just last year. Um, but this bat's been a great bat for us for a long time. Honestly, I think we've had this bat over three years and really, it's just been solid for us the whole time. Um, and really, and, you know, it's coming to different colors, but it's always been this gray look, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But um, it's been a great bat for us. But, you know, the idea with Warstick isn't, hey, you know, the calendar year is changing. Let's change the bat so that we can sell more. I kind of feel not shady about that, but just... I, our opinion is more like when we feel like we can make a technical improvement to the bat or an aesthetic improvement, preferably both, we, we get into it and we do it. We're, we're, we're trying to get on kind of a two year cycle um, with bat upgrades, but I just felt like it was time to take this solid bat and try to make it a great bat. So with that, um, the whole point of Gunner at the end of the day was to make a two piece hybrid bat, right? So most of you guys probably know what that is. That's, carbon fiber 
carbon fiber handle um, alloy barrel, right? So, you know, try to make a two piece bat because, you know, some guys are two piece guys. Some piece are one piece guys. For me, that's the, the main difference is just feel like, like feeling the flex um, in the joint. It's just a different feel than a one piece bat. You're going to have a stiffer, a stiffer feel. Um, and, you know, especially with the u age, for whatever reason, and I won't go into it, two-piece bats just generally are more popular. That's the belief that maybe they're easier to hit with, sweet spots bigger, all these kind of things, right? But, again, how can we take this really solid performer for us and, and make it better? So we kind of took it back to the lab. You know, this goes back probably starting to work on this a year ago. And... You know, some of the things that we wanted to do were first and foremost, um, the barrel just getting longer, right? Simple thing. And I'm going to unwrap. I got a new one here. So this is like the new version of the same bat. I'm going to unwrap this. Um, plastic off. So the newer version of the same, well, much different bat. And so I'll show this as best I can, but if you look at the change, how do I hold this so you can see it? If you look at the change in the length of the barrel, and again, these are the same size bat, minus eight, same length. If you look, the barrel comes to here, that is a massive difference, right? So that's the first thing. So you're gonna get, you're gonna get just more surface area to hit with a, more beef through, you know, from kind of here down to the joint. You're gonna get more beef to hit with. So whatever, uh, more forgiving, better on miss hits, that kind of stuff. Yes, the sweet spot is now longer, right? Um, in a two-piece bat, I think that's what you're going for, right? You're going for a bat that's theoretically a little easier to hit with a little bit more forgiving, all those kind of things. So that's that's by far the most drastic improvement that we made. The second thing would be, um, if you look at our old style, I mean, there's really, you know, inside here, there's a joint connection, but it's not very, it wasn't as high tech as we've done now. So that was the second thing is really make a drastic improvement to the joint connection for two reasons. One. Better durability is always good. You know, these things are expensive. We want them to last as long as we, as you, as you can have. That's so bright. Man, my light is dramatic. Um, there you go. That's nice. Turn it this way. So one, it looks cool. Um, and it's a rubber piece. So I wish I could cut this off and show you guys what really the inside of a joint means, but it's basically this part joining this part. And so there's some material in there, like foamish type material that essentially, um, you know, it's going to dampen vibration. Um, no one really likes vibration. So you do all you can to, 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 to give it a great feel. Right. So that was a huge improvement aesthetically and performance wise. Um, the carbon fiber handle, which, on this old bat, you can kind of see in the light. You can actually see the car. There you go. You can see the carbon fiber. So just pure carbon fiber look right there. So in this new one, we actually painted that up. Just wanted to change up the look there. And I like this. I love this gray so much, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But um, this is the big thing here was a massive change other than to improve durability. Um, you know, we, we saw, you know, you're always going to have some failures in metal bats and we saw, um, that was an improvement we can make, like trying to prevent any and all failures here, which in carbon fiber, two piece bats, that's sometimes you can have Chad says, Hey, y'all, y'all ask me questions. If you, if you want, I'm new to this, uh, YouTube live thing. So I'll try to check them. But yeah, this is not a BB core. This is a U-Triple-S-A. Um, before, if any, as soon as you guys, a hundred percent, the BB core version of this is coming. Everything that I'm telling you now applies to BB core. Of course it's BB core instead of U-Triple-S-A. It's just that the BB core was so hot. Um, 
it took us a while to get uh, all the bats tested and approved. We kept coming in too high. So um, quick note about that, basically, and, that, and that's another improvement that I can talk about here. It's just overall performance, right? So just to give you a comparison, so BB core, not to go into what the 0.50 means, but let's just simplify and say it's a performance ceiling, right? Your bats can't perform in these tests over 0.50. So the old BB core gunners, um, which were known for being really heavy power bats, um, uh, those bats would test at like more of a 0.4, uh, 0.492, that kind of thing. Um, these are coming in like 0.499, some of the links 0.50. I mean, basically as hot as I can make them and be legal, which is what all of us companies are trying to shoot for, right? Like it's a performance ceiling. So let's try to build to that performance ceiling, right? And I'm not going to sit here and we're not the company to tell you that the BB core bat is hotter than another. I think everybody's starting to figure that out. Um, but feel is quite different. There's kind of three factors and you can... You can you you can mo you can modify the bats to create a certain feel, and then which players did that feel uh, work for? Um, what else can I talk about? The grip is we didn't really feel like it was much improved. I've always been a big fan of of this color. We've got a nice taper in here. We've got a traditional knob, and so we've got all of that, uh, which is the same as the old bat, but we've got rid of all that black. Um, looking at my notes. Um, yeah, so, I mean, just feel-wise, the big difference is if you pick up an old gunner, whether it's a BB Core 33-inch or a, you know, minus 5 or a minus 2, you're going to feel just a heaviness to it compared to this. This, your, your balance point, right? So we talk about balance point or MOI. Um, the old one probably was more just for comparison down here. Very, still pretty dang in loaded. This one, oh, you might can find it here, right? There it is, right? So you've got a very balanced bat without, without, without losing performance and power, but I'm not gonna get into that because that's still, in my opinion, that still depends on the hitter and how you swing and, and all these kind of things. But that was the point with the gunner, right? It's, it's kind of the do everything back. It's not trying to be only power. It's not trying to be only balance. It's trying to be the bat for people who want to do both and are capable of both, right? So that's kind of the technical specs of the gunner. Um, uh, someone said they had live batting last night. I really like the feel. He's used two compositions back the past season. Nice. Best bats in the market. Thanks, Luke. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Ron, I don't know, actually, I don't know what your first name is. Sanchezesco, can you talk about why the war stick at the end of the barrel is on a shiny surface? That's a great question, because we get this a lot, right? Let me see if I can even show it. He's talking about, I my light is so bright. It, the surface of the entire bat is matte, except for if you catch this area here, you can see it's a shiny surface. And so it's just basically, for the most part, it's an aesthetic thing. We, we love to clean, even bats, we love to keep one side completely clean. Like we feel this is our signature look. It's the cleanest bat on the market, right? It's, it's a solid color. You've got our trademark war stripes and we call this a war tip. So it's something we did back, you know, when we were only making wood bats back in the day. It's just a signature look where we would dip uh, only like the last, you know, five, six inches of the bat. And we just like to retain that. It's just a signature look for us. Um, it does keep this cleaner longer, but um, that's it, man. It's not, it's just, it's just one little indi more indication that um, it's a war stick, right? So I'm going to talk now real quick about um, the inspiration for the look of the bat. And this goes back to the old one even. And I, I didn't really feel like we needed to change the look, but I just little, did little things to update it. But I mean, long story short, basically, you know, war stick, um, camo. Yeah. I might, 
I'm trying to get my team to let me do camera. We'll see. Um, uh, yeah, so the sweet spot's just smaller, man. Heavy hitter guy. Um, just a little smaller. It's an older bat. It's le- it's just, this is just newer technology, newer design, newer engineering, right? So so anyway, back to the inspiration of just the, the name of the bat and what the bat looks like. Um, if you follow War Stick, you know that um, we support warriors in general. Uh, we support uh, a couple causes. One of our favorites um, is an organization that supports uh, native veterans that have actually, uh, you know, fought in wars um, and they need support as much as anybody. So, you know, we've always supported veterans. Travis Mills, who you guys might know, is actually an investor in War Stick, an old friend and just probably the most inspiring guy I know. Um, makes me feel lazy, right? But um, yeah, so I went to Pearl Harbor and, you know, I'm big on just letting things kind of inspire me, right? You, you can't like create an inspiration. It just kind of happens, right? But you got to be open to it. So, you know, I thought, oh, well, I'm in Hawaii. I'll go to Pearl Harbor. Because you just got to do that, right? You go. And I didn't think much of it. But man, I got out there and the heaviness of it when you go out and you see those sunken battleships and realize, you know, how many guys are down there. It's It hits you. It's It's heavy, man. So... You know, that was kind of the the feel of like, man, I want to do something. One of our bats needs to specifically support, like, and memorialize the sacrifice of these warriors, right? Um, But I'm a graphic designer, right? So it's like, well, what's, you got to take that and turn it into what something looks like, right? And, (coughs) good Lord. (coughs) Swallowed wrong. So if you look at pictures of like <coughs> golly, American battleships, warships, fighter jets, there's this common aesthetic, which is like this super matte gray, neutral, badass matte gray. And then these big, these big numbers, like on the sides of battleships and stuff like that. So it's as simple as that. I kind of want to, I don't like to kind of copy something as a much just kind of be inspired by it and try to emulate it to a certain degree, but then let it be its own thing, right? So as simple as that, that's where it comes from. You think about battleships and fighter planes and that met, that gray matte uh, metal kind of thing. And then the style of this font and stuff, if you look at Air, you know, Air Force planes, um, the big numbers on, on warships, you're gonna see, you're gonna see that numbering kind of style and stuff like that. And then just keep it clean. And then the color, the handle, like I'm just a big fan of this neutral, like make let leather look like leather kind of thing i feel like this thing as much as any of the bat I mean, any bat in the market i mean it looks like a tactical military weapon especially in person it's it's just got that feel to it you know so that is oh oh and i should mention by the way that when you buy a gunner you're actually supporting veterans so we're taking a portion of the proceeds from every gun is sold and supporting these veteran causes, um, right? And so that's hugely important to us. Um, that that, and and you know, when you when you buy this, it's 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 not just money going in our pocket. Um, let's see here. Let me check the questions, and then we're probably gonna get to this film. Um, let's see. Yep, yep. Um, Thank you, heavy hitter. All right. So just to, I don't want to tell you too much about this film. I'd like to show it to you and uh, see what you think. Maybe we'll come back in here and talk about it, right? So the only setup I'm going I'm to do is not about the film, but just, you know, war stick in general. Like, I'm not going to throw you a commercial that's like trying to tell you about all the tech stuff, right? You can read that in the copy. We'll have videos about that. We got the specs. I mean, there's just more, there's more, there's more to us than the performance, right? Warstick is, is I try to create inspiring design with meaning, you know, and create that kind of human emotion, but combine that with world-class performance, right? That's where I feel like that's, that's what we do. We try to combine those things, right? Um, And I feel like when we do these little films and stuff, 
yeah, it's about a bat, but it's about what that bat's for. But in more importantly, it's kind of about the humans behind um, the people that inspire us who use these. And so this just so you know, and these guys are on here right now, um, Ashen, um, who lives up in Chicago and is just a hell of a ball player, man, and one of the hardest working ball players I've ever met. And that includes all the big leaders I know. Um, and his dad does the voiceover. So um, I think I'm just going to show it to you. Here we go. Hopefully this works. Hmm. So I'm going to end this. And then I think there's like a little countdown. Then the film will play. It's only about a minute long. So hang with me. Turn the volume up really loud at home. You got to do it. Just turn it up. All right. Here we go. <laughs> 